According to an article by B Joshua Miller, a school in Texas has set in effect an ID tag protocol. The students wear ID tags that broadcast their current location to the school system. The tag would also be used for tracking lunches, library books, and even computer time. Cutting down wasteful paperwork, systems like these will be placed in the schools because they reduce redundancy, save school money, and ensure student safety. The everyday teacher has been given the task of doing work every student is for his or her class period. This takes time out of their instruction, or most of the time they have to be locating stray students that may be visiting with other teachers, counselors, or other staff members. On top of all that, some students may be skipping their classes, making it virtually impossible to locate them. This causes a huge concern and disruption to the teaching environment. However, implementing these new global positioning and radio frequency ident identification systems will ease the concern. The also, the original cost for putting the GPS system putting into effect would make up for the unneeded stress on teachers and loss of class time. Not only would the, the system be paying back the, its installation costs through more quality education, but it would also through profit and governmental funding. Its ability to track students would allow for easier location of truancy or skipping students. Our school with a population of 600 students has an average attendance rating of 90 percent. This is about 540 students a day. This leads to the school receiving $4.86 million from the government a year. Yet if the attendance were only to raise by 5%, the school would be receiving another $2,700,000 a year. This system would be perfect for locating students in case of emergencies, during fires and earthquakes, so emergency responders like firefighters and police officers would be able to find, them, find the students effectively and efficiently, saving precious time. Or in other extreme cases, like school intrusions, students could receive assistance quicker in a timelier manner. Though these trackers would somewhat intrude on the wearer's privacy during the school day, it is a small price to pay for the safety and well-being of all the students.